Hello, Army Recognition. We are at the FNSS booth in IDEF 2017. So in our booth this year, we are showcasing a new portfolio of vehicles, which are tracked and wheeled. So we showcase five different new vehicles, together with an additional two-man turret, which is a Teber turret. We showcase the Teber turrets unmanned, uh, remote-controlled configuration, two years ago in this show. So this year, we have the two-man configuration. And with the wheeled vehicles, uh, today I will go one by one for you. First, we will start with the new, uh, with the uh, initial vehicle of FNSS, which we delivered to Turkish Army in 19, uh, from 1991 to 2000. This is ACV-15, Tracked Armored Combat Vehicle. This is the armored personnel carrier configuration, but uh, currently the particular one which you are seeing here is configured for the asymmetrical warfare uh, needs for the uh, new threats on the, in the inside the battlefield. So you can, uh, on the left hand side, uh, we can see the RPG protection net. We have a remote control weapon station. We have laser sensors all around. We have cameras all around, which gives us a better situational awareness into the battlefield. We have an acoustic sensor on the right hand side, on the corner there, uh, which, is, uh, which can detect uh, uh, threats or, uh, or gunfires or sniper fires all around the battlefield. So the next here, we have the Kaplan 20. As you remember, we showcased the Kaplan 20 with the infantry fighting vehicle configuration. We have the same vehicle now with the armored personnel carrier configuration. So this is a fully, fully amphibious tracked armored combat vehicle. Then. This year, for the first time, we showcased Kaplan 30. Kaplan 30 is the new generation infantry fighting vehicle, which is also an amphibious armored vehicle, but once compared with the Kaplan 20, it has a better mine, IED, and kinetic energy protection all around. As you see there, we have the 30 millimeter remote controlled Teber turret with a 7.62 millimeter machine gun. So with the commander, driver and gunner, it can carry eight dismounts. So this is the Kaplan MT. The Kaplan MT, the MT stands for Kaplan medium tank. So this is the medium tank configuration for the Kaplan family, which is not amphibious and also with the rear engine and uh, we had showcased the design concept of this vehicle in Indo Defense last, last year in November. So this year, we were able to showcase the technology demonstrator of the Kaplan medium tank. This project is a joint development project between Indonesia and Turkey. So an Indonesian company, PT Pindat and FNSS, jointly developed this vehicle. So this, the first initial prototype was developed in Turkey, so the other prototype will be developed in Indonesia in the near future. So we will be able to see this tank on the fields in very dense tests in the near future. So we are very excited with it. This is the Kaplan 32-man turret. So in here we see the two-man configuration with the 30-millimeter uh, automatic cannon and 7.62 coaxial machine gun. So the Taber name stands for a battle axe in the, uh, from the Turkish uh, old uh, weapon which was uh, used in the battles. So we give this name to the, to the turret. And uh, on the right hand side of the turret you can see the gunner's periscope and there's a commander's independent periscope which is on top of the vehicle. Here we showcase the PARS 8x8 vehicle which is the PARS 3. The PARS 3 is displayed for the first time in IDF and just like the previous configurations of the Pars family, this vehicle has an all-wheel steering capability. But it has a hydropneumatic suspension, which is capable to have a 
ride height control capability, so we can rise the belly of the vehicle with 50 centimeters higher from the ground. In addition to this, this is not an amphibious vehicle because the previous configurations of the Pars family was completely amphibious. So this vehicle is non-amphibious, but it has a very well protection from kinetic energy threats, also mines and IEDs. So it's a more protected vehicle, a little bit heavier vehicle than the Pars 2 and uh, Pars Generation Mark 1. It has a 25 millimeter cannon with a 7.62 millimeter machine gun. Uh, so this turret is a FNSS turret as well. It's named as Sabre. So the, the Sabre turret is a fully stabilized turret, which is armed with this Pars 3 vehicles, which we will deliver to a country in the very short time. So another here, we have the Pars 3 6x6. So both vehicles have the common features. The only difference of the two vehicles is the uh, drive system. The CBRM vehicle is the 6x6, which we showcased a couple of years ago. We believe this vehicle has a great potential for CBRM operations in the future. So here we showcase the 6x6 Scout. The 6x6 Scout is designed and developed for a special requirement. So it's also the Pars family, but a different configuration of the Pars family. Instead of using periscopes, we, this, we use direct view sights on this vehicle, on the frontal arc of the vehicle. We believe this configuration will give a better situational awareness in urban operations. This is the Pars 4x4. The Pars 4x4 initial prototype was built for the Turkish Army's weapon carrier program. So here we showcase the ATGM turret. So it's a completely remote control turret with a 7.62 machine gun, which is coaxial to the ATGM system. So this, this ATGM system is the mock-up of the uh, system which we will build and deliver to Turkish Army in the near future. Another capability which we are showcasing in FNSS boot in IDEF 2017 is the combat engineering capabilities. So here, just next to me, is the Armored Amphibious Assault Bridge, which is the AAAB. And just standing next to it is the AACE, which is the Armored Amphibious Earth Mover. So, so both of these vehicles, they are combat engineering vehicles, they work together. So this vehicle is a amph fully amphibious vehicles, fully amphibious earth mover, which is capable to cross, uh, cross rivers and prepare the river banks from both sides of the river bank. And the uh, AAAB is the combat bridging system, which uh, enables main battle tanks to cross from one side to the other side of the rivers. This is the AV-8 Gampita, which we had delivered to Malaysian Army. Uh, so the contract was signed in 2011 and we started deliveries of this vehicle. So uh, we, will we will be delivering 11 different configurations of the vehicle. The current one which you are seeing just, just next to me is the 25 millimeter infantry fighting vehicle configuration of Aviate Gampita vehicles. Thank you so much for coming here, Army Recognition. So hope to see you in the next show.